It's ceramic. But I've got to let things go to pay bills and get us a new life that we can afford. The trinkets are a reminder of Madeline Bosco's more carefree past. She and her husband have already sold their stocks, refinanced their home, and plan to sell more of their goods to pay off their debts. I have to say it's probably 2009 that it hit us. And that's when it was a big wake-up call that, hey, things aren't easy anymore. Everything changed for the Boscos and millions of others after the Great Recession. Five years since the collapse of Lehman Brothers, families remain hunkered down too spooked and too distrustful to take chances again with their money. And it's almost annoying and heartbreaking when you think you've paid all those years to get your loan rate down and maybe you have another, you know, 10, 15 to go and you're back where you started in 93. An AP analysis of the 10 biggest economies found people have pulled hundreds of billions of dollars out of stocks, instead pouring money into savings. In Tokyo, Sahoko Tanabe saw her portfolio nearly evaporate during the crisis. This time, she is trusting no one but herself. I used to invest as I was told by stockbrokers. As a result of that, I suffered a huge loss. There was nothing good out of it. In the end, Lehman was the fatal blow. I feel for sure that the current situation is better. So I decided to study so as not to make the same mistake. But the worldwide pullback, while good for the individual, could actually harm the global economy. They put off um, making a fix to their car, buying a new appliance. Around the globe, the Great Recession has forced a great reset when it comes to personal finances. The need for financial safety and security has not been seen since World War II. Warren Levinson, Associated Press.